Hey guys, it's me Edgar, here to do, in a way, the first attempt to do the War for Cybertron. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like this take. I actually really find this take very, 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 very interesting. Um, the comic book opens up where we see a massive battle in Cybertron. And you see a dead hand... You see everyone just blasting the shit out of the Autobots and Decepticons. Meanwhile, we go see Orion Pax, and he wants no part. He wants nothing to do with this war. He wants nothing to do with this war. He's just going to sit there, do his little job, and pretty much, yeah, just going to take it and just leave it. And it's like, whoa, this is interesting. I mean, hell, in the recent reboot, no way that Orion is like this. And that's another thing, too. You, you, you have something very interesting, innovative. And you have Grimlock. You have all these uh, Autobots just absolutely just uh, trying to figure out what to do. And then eventually when... Uh, Orion finally takes over to be Optimus Prime. It, it, it's very, it's very satisfying, and I do like the fact that where you get to see Grimlock and the other Dinobots, and I do like the fact that you cut back to Optimus, or should I say Orion, over and over again until the day uh, or the time period where he decides, okay, fine, fine, I'll become the new Prime. I will become the new Prime. And you have this beautiful panel, and it's such badass, and it's such awesome, and then the Decepticons attack the Autobots, and it's just like, oh, shit! And it, it's just like, oh, man, it gets really cool, it gets really awesome, and it, it really just does great. And, of course, Optimus Prime pretty much just kicks the shit out of everybody, and... It's really awesome. It's fucking amazing. I, I, I really enjoy the fuck out of it. And I really think that they did an amazing job on this first issue. Um, not granted, I didn't talk about everything in this issue. But it's just like, I really enjoy the betrayals on how they betrayed Grimlock and Optimus Prime and a few other Autobots. But however... This was just the beginning, because at the ending of the entire issue, you have uh, Megatron uh, showing up at the ending of the comic, which was cool, and setting up their big meeting when the time comes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, this book along with the older Transformer comics. I really want to get back into the Marvel Transformers comics and some other old Transformer books like the older continuity before IDW reboot the continuity but uh yeah we'll be also talking about uh, a few books that I really enjoyed from Transformers but let's just keep that under the wraps but uh stay tuned on those books stay tuned on a lot of the uh newer comics that I'm gonna massively marathon on Transformers on the main title and Beast Wars and other books along with the older continuity before they rebooted it but uh yeah overall good issue good setup for the War for Cybertron battles and uh yeah and also one more thing I remember owning the figure of Optimus Prime that he looked like this uh design I really enjoyed this design. He looked pretty badass, along with Megatron, when he transformed into a tank, which I always feel like Megatron always should be a tank, if you ask me. I never really was a big fan of him be as a gun. Uh, let Sideways or any other character be a gun. Megatron should be a spaceship or a goddamn tank. That is something I always feel like should be the case, but that's just me. Um, I know people have their different opinions, but um, that's all for now. Stay tuned on my reviews on Transformers, and 
I'll see you guys later. But please tell me what your thoughts on this whole storyline. Tell me what you liked about it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.